What's up you guys, welcome back to the channel. Trying something very new for the very first time. This is a nine day, eight stage tour of Britannia put on by Flamme Rouge Racing. I've spent all holiday weekend overthinking tonight and I am very antsy, I am very nervous. This is the Everything Bagel route. It's not an easy route, it's pretty spicy, it's pretty steep. Some solid climbs that are just punchy. Now, a part of this race is we're all on the same bike, so I kind of like that. It really levels the playing field, but you do get to select your wheel set. So I am on the Zip 454s because they're pretty aero, pretty good on the flats, but also good on the climbs. And the Everything Bagel here in NYC has a lot of super stupid climbing. Um, some very difficult climbs, pretty long. Furthermore, uh, right now we are climbing on a 7 8% grade to get to the bottom of the climb, which then just shoots up to 15%, and it's just absolutely absurd. Um, I heard from a friend of mine, Ollie Moore, um, on YouTube, he is not Tade Bogacha, and um, he said it starts out real spicy, and he was not wrong. Furthermore, within the first five minutes of the race, I've never done this route before. Within the first five minutes, you're already on this uh, just crazy climb. Um, very difficult. So I was with the front group for um, those first five minutes till we got to the base of the climb. And I was like, yeah, I can't do this for another hour. I know we're going to be doing this exact climb a couple times, uh, I think from both directions, actually. So Skipping ahead, um, I'm sitting, you know, 14, 15 place with a couple other guys, form a little quad squad. That's cool. Um, I don't know. I don't like racing in small groups. I'd rather be in the big group, of course. I uh, hate getting dropped. Duh. And I tell you what, this was the hardest Zwift race I have ever done. And what really attracts me to this series is that... Yeah, my dog is shaking her collar. Uh, what really attracted me to this series was that it's eight stages over the course of nine days. And furthermore, every stage is over an hour long. Like, they are big. They are very difficult. They're grueling. Um, so it's kind of like who can bounce back and recover and do it again the next day and multiply that by, you know, eight days straight. Or, you know, there's one rest day. Um, so I, I thought that was really something. And I don't know. I, I saw um, some videos of the Tour France. Um, Flam Flamme Rouge Racing did a Tour France series a couple months back, which just looked really interesting versus a normal Zwift Racing crit where it's, you know, 35 minutes of, uh, you know, full gas or whatever. This is well over an hour on some of these stages. So I, I just thought it was pretty interesting and I was really looking forward to it. Uh, I didn't think my fitness was great going into this or it was kind of strong from uh, the climb portals I've been doing. However, that's not the same entirely as racing for an hour and a half. All right, let me... Uh... Yeah, try to put into words these next 20 minutes. I don't want to go any lower than top 16, but I have one more climb. I'm tired as crap. The heart rate does not show it. This guy seems fresh. So I just gotta hold. Gotta stay up with him, and I think we'll be all right. To be completely honest, I did go into this series with the hopes of doing, with legitimately competing for the KOM jersey, the climb jersey, doing the climb segments, um, because of all these climb portals I've been doing, I thought I could really, I thought I could really hold my own. Now, the one downside was I knew going into the series, looking at all the time slots, and there's only eight time slots actually, so it's it's kind of tough for me personally to find the free time to do this. I'm um, doing this one at 7.30 p.m., which a little later than I prefer, especially for an hour-plus uh, race. But whatever, I, I found the time to do it. So I knew the biggest conflict was going to come on Sunday. That's just my worst day of the week. And that was that became true, actually. I, I completely missed stage two, which, therefore, I can't win anything. And I, I've, I've missed a stage of the race. So um, that dream is completely dashed um, as of Sunday, officially 
However, this race being on Saturday, the dream of the KOM jersey was dashed um, after the first hill, actually, because it was so bad. And then all these other segments, you had to do it. I, uh, I think we did this um, forward New York KOM twice, and then we did the reverse once, and they are just brutal, like literally so hard. Just watch this. I'm, I'm up with this guy for a time. I'm ahead of him for a time feeling really good get kind of confident i'll get this like second win here with you know um sub eight miles to go and it just every time you think you're almost done it ramps up again and then it levels off and then it's still not done and it goes up to 15 percent. and it's just like dude ah it was one of those just like screw this moments and now there's a seven second gap so I feel like I did stage one basically by myself or with just a couple other guys. So um, the fun meter was pretty low, I'm going to be honest. Yeah, I mean, it was still like cool to be a part of. And look, I'm doing this like stage race and I'm part of the tour. Like that's so cool, which it is. Uh, it wasn't super fun because it was so hard. And that has everything to do with the course, the length of it. Uh, the profile of it is just crazy. Um, I love how Flam Rouge has their category breakdowns. It's actually quite even. And praise the Lord, I'm actually on kind of the higher end of the of, of my category, uh, the Scotch Bonnet. They're all named after like peppers or something. Um, so I was I was pretty excited about that. You kind of it's kind of based off ZFTP and everything um slightly and then something else but uh yeah here we are kind of rounding out this race three miles left just uh one-on-one -on -one with this guy at this point and uh, dude everything in new york is just steep uphill or a slight decline not loads in between it seems um it just uh it was tough it was super tough and by the end you know an hour and 20 plus minutes in I'm so over it. Can't wait to get off the bike at this point. So it's going to come down to a little field sprint between him and I. And I'm trying to trying to play my cards right uh, as, as the two of us are just going head to head. Now, one thing I completely forgot about is the sprint segment, which uh, I'm not going for the sprint segment. And here in stage one, I was going for the KOM segment. So I wasn't really pushing on the sprint segments. Completely forgot about it. Uh, meanwhile, I got like nothing left in the leg. So he ramps it up for the sprint. Now I'm trying to catch up to him. Never really happened. He beat me, whatever, uh, in the race, which I was so excited to be done with nine minutes behind the leader. I mean, I got 15th or whatever, 16th, uh, out of the 45, 46 and not everyone was in my category. That was super fun. That was very challenging. Definitely the course has probably the most to do with that, uh, but also the category and strength of the competition was like, I mean, it was there. Heart rate was um, trash. Hey, I did that route, that's cool. I never did that route before, super hard. Guys, thanks so very much for watching. This is FRR stage one. We got several more to go. Guys, thanks. So much for watching. Drop a word of encouragement down below. I'll see you in the next one.